It's not here midday. We took the morning off. Uh, we got uh, some photos and helped Sam take care of his buck. It's awesome and uh, got, a, got a great buck last night on the opener. So tonight we're gonna go back to the same spot that he was sitting, except for I'm gonna be there with my buck. I'm just uh, shooting the old Hoyt, making sure everything's still dialed in, and it is thus far. So we'll shoot a few more and then eat and then head out and hopefully get a, get a shot tonight. You know, one thing that was hurting Sam the night before is that he couldn't see the deer coming out. And so I took a lot of time and actually cut out a bunch of brush or I cut a window that was out that was this big looking down where I thought the main trail was. So if they crossed that, that window, I'd be able to at least be ready. That right there is just so I can see something come around that corner. Well, just getting settled in. Day two here in central Colorado. As you can see, we are buried up in these willow trees. We're sitting in the same spot that Sam was sitting last night. Luke and I were up on the hill watching the whole thing. I am pumped because this spot has produced in the past, not only yesterday, but in the past with Kyle. KB Outdoors, this is my third year hunting with him, actually my fourth year hunting with him. And uh, I've had success with Kyle as well. So super unique situation, hold up inside of uh, some willow trees, but there is a major trail right here. We actually cut a little window through, the, through these willows just so we can catch a glimpse of them as they're walking by so we can get ready by the time they get in our shooting lane. But they, we should have anywhere between a well, between a five yard and a really a, a 40 yard shot. So very much looking forward to tonight. Been seeing a lot of shooters. Hopefully one gets within range. We were sitting there and we, it was a pretty slow night, actually a really slow night. I was getting kind of worried that maybe we had spooked him the night before, you know, cause we had a, fiddle around getting his buck out of there and stuff you know uh, I thought maybe we spooked him somehow but right at last light through that window we spot one of the big shooters walking through buddy that will work sir that will work sir watch him watch him stay on 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 him <sighs> are you kidding me what an absolute stud here in central Colorado. 
hunting with my absolute best buddy, Kyle Lopez. I got Sam Schaefer in camp. Season two of My World Outdoors just got kicked off with a bang. That's a stud. Axel. Luke. Dude. Absolute stud. Just punched him, dude. I gotta call my wife. I gotta call my wife. Are you still rolling? Hello. Hi. Is I, I gotta be real. I gotta be quick. But look what I'm doing. <laughs> I just drilled. I think our number one buck. So awesome. he's down. He's down right behind me, a hundred yards. So. I cannot, but I can't believe it. So, hey, I got Luke filming over the shoulder. I got axles down here that way. I gotta go, baby. I just wanna tell you, I love you. I'm excited. All right, hey, tell the girls I love them. Lo love you, girls. This is never a bad feeling here. work. Let's go up here. We watched them go down. Right here on top of this hill. They were about to jump. Look over here at this black hole that we were in. Oh my. They were on this trail right here. He was going to jump right here. And that's, we knocked some of the brush down getting out, but that black hole right over my shoulder is where we were perched up. What an experience. What an absolute, look at those mountains behind us, dude. Gosh. What a giant. What an absolute giant. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a large animal. Holy cow. I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. This is a large mule deer. I've been very fortunate in my hunting career to kill some great mule deer, but this is, this is a great one. And to have, to have it unfold the way it, the way it has, Sitting in a spot that Sam Schaefer killed a great buck last night, and I got to watch it from 200 yards. This was our number one buck, in my opinion, that was kind of hanging out on this side of the farm. And uh, he came out with the same group of bucks that we've been watching for the last four days. And lucky that we picked the right trail tonight. Holy cow, just a stud. It's my first kill with a Hoyt. I feel good. It feels good. It's a freaking shooting sucker. At 25 yards, the Hoyt and the Carbon Express Arrows and the Muzzy did work. He ran 70 yards and tipped over dead on the hill. Look at these. His fronts are huge. Tons of mass. Absolute tons of mass. Big brow tines. Look at those brow tines. Holy cow. <laughs> Sam, what do you think about that? Holy cow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Oh, look at this guy. This is the boxy one. That's the boxy one. Yeah. Hit the, the, the four by came out right right in front of him. I, I mean I could see his rack sticking up. I I figured you have to be on. Dude. He came out, so we, we cut we cut a lane uh, where I could see the trail, and then we cut a lane where Luke could see the trail. That way we, we could keep eyes on you know what was coming up that road. And sure enough, he goes, oh, there's antlers coming, antlers coming. And I look up, and as soon as I looked up, I seen him walking across my opening. And then as soon as I got the camera, I turned my, my GoPro camera on, turned my other GoPro camera on, I got it going. And as soon as I, as I was bringing the, cam, the deal up, the three, or the, you know, the, the four point, 
walked in front of him, and he's big. He's real big. Walked right in front of him, 20 yards, and I was like, oh. And I grabbed my range finder and was ranging him, but I knew he was right behind him. Right, and then another little buck came out. I ranged him to double check, and then I shot him at 25 yards as he was coming to the fence. He stopped and looked. I believe he was looking at an axle. I don't know. Axle's just like a freaking, he's a magnet. He just, things just look at him. And uh, I, I, he was looking at him, and I just came to full draw, and then he turned slowly at me, looked at me, and I just got on him and shot. <laughs> And that's the. He was coming. That was a smart move. Dude, he's wide, ain't he? Isn't that something?